Hey guys and welcome back to our online Vespers. I hope that you all had a great week and just to let you guys know what's going to go on right now. Right now we're going to have our blessing box by Alexis and then we're going to have an activity by Lou and it's going to consist of eight questions and after that we're going to have our topic by George. And right now we're going to have our blessing box. Hey guys, so it's a time again to come and recognize God for all the blessings that he's, that he's given us. Even if things didn't go as planned this week, still thank God for that because it could be a blessing in disguise. So as you guys already know, take a few minutes to pause this video and write down your blessings and we'll move right on to the activity. The activity portion has arrived. This week we have a questionnaire composed of eight questions and each question is worth one point. Feel free to keep score and write it down and let's get started. Who asked God for wisdom? A. Jacob B. Sal C. Moses or D. Solomon The answer is D. Solomon and this is found in 1 Kings 3, 3 to 15. Who put Joseph in jail because he thought he was dishonoring his wife? A. Potiphar B. Pharaoh C. Pontius Pilate or D. Nebuchadnezzar The answer is A. Potiphar and this is found in Genesis 39. Who said, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. A. The angel Gabriel. B. Jesus. C. Joseph. Or D. John the Baptist. The answer is A, the angel Gabriel, and this is found in Luke 1, 26-38. Who made a gallows for Mordecai and ended up hanging himself in it? A, King Ahasuerus, B, Haman, C, King Caesar, or D, Noah? The answer is B, Haman, found in Esther 7.10. Who gave provisions to David when he was fleeing, and Saul killed him and all the priests from Dope? A, Samuel, B, Job, C, Ahimelech, or D, Anakin? The answer is C, Ahimelech, and this is found in 1 Samuel 21-22. How many children did Rachel have with Jacob? A, 1, B, 2, C, 10, or D, 12. The answer is B, 2, and this is found in Genesis 35, 24. Which woman did David fall in love with while bathing? Was it A, Esther, B, Elizabeth, C, Ruth, or D, Bathsheba? The answer is D, 
Bathsheba, and this is found in 2 Samuel 11, 1 through 5. Lastly, which son of Rebekah had a lot of hair? Was it A, Samson, B, Jacob, C, Esau, or D, Isaac? The answer is C, Esau, found in Genesis 27:11. Thank you guys so much for participating, and I hope you enjoyed this questionnaire. Hello everyone, and today I want to talk to you guys about words and the impact they have in our lives. So, God created us, and with that, He gave us the ability to communicate. And just to show you how much of an impact words can have in our life, let's think back. Think back to an okay, a day where you were very happy, everything was going great, and you ran to someone and they said something that really turned your day upside down, you know? It could have been a word or a phrase, you know? And that totally destroyed your day. And for the rest of the day, you felt really sad. Also, let's think back. It could also be done the other way. Let's think back to a day where you were very sad, you know? Or discouraged. And someone came, said a couple of nice words, and it totally changed your mood. It made you feel happy and it made you feel like you could conquer the world, you know? This is the impact that words have. They can change our mood. They can make us feel better or worse. They can encourage us to do something or they can discourage us from doing something. The thing is, it's amazing when you use your words to encourage someone. It's amazing when someone uses words to encourage you. It feels nice. The sad thing is, sometimes we use words and we discourage people. And it's not, it's not on purpose. I mean, yeah, sometimes people might use it for wrong and may use it to discourage people on purpose. But I think most of the time, when someone discourages someone, it was not, not meant on purpose. And I'm pretty sure we've all had that occasion when we are joking around and we say something joking around with someone and it completely changes their day. They feel bad. And that's the sad part that we sometimes do without even realizing that we did and we, that we discouraged someone and made them feel bad. See, God's, God knew that with our words, we could impact people's lives. And that's what he said. In Ephesians 4.12, he says, Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. See, God wants us to use our words. He wants us to use our words to motivate people and to encourage people, and mainly to bring people closer to Him. So I encourage you, I encourage you to think when you're talking to someone, if you're bringing them up or tearing them down. See, as Christians, we're supposed to reflect God's character. And one of those ways is through what we say. So next time you're talking to someone, think to yourself, are they seeing God? through my words. Hey guys, so I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that you all got the questions right from the game. But if you didn't, that's okay. But just like George mentioned previously, remember about your words and how it can have an effect on somebody. And as Christians, let's try to be a good example. And I hope that you all enjoyed the video. So.